Let's allow the Lord to get us to 100K. <laughs> Hello, dear friends. Hey, guys. Welcome back to the Majestic Family Channel. My name yeah. is Jory. This is my lovely wife. Bidame or B. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and comment down below so we can stay in touch. Don't forget to like, share, and turn on your notification bell so, so you, you know, know when a new video comes, comes out. out. Thank you. Today, Today, we are talking about how I found out about Bename's natural hair, uh -huh. <laughs> how I felt about it, and those types of interracial issues. Topics. All of it. We're going to talk about all of it. It was yes. actually a question posed to us by one of our viewers so shout out to thank you thank you so thank much thank you we love uh questions if you are not yet following us on ig get your life what yes. are you waiting on honey great check us out at majestic us. underscore family eight all right so the question pretty much just asked like how did jory feel about my natural hair the first mm -hmm. time he saw it what was his reaction <laughs> okay so when i first met biname uh, I didn't focus solely on her hair. Uh -huh. I was just attracted to her altogether because mm -hmm. she was just extremely hot. <laughs> and I like, I think it was just the whole package. Like uh -huh. I wasn't like inspect, like trying to look at her hair specifically. Yeah. So it wasn't like, oh, she has really interesting hair or <laughs> really nice hair or yeah. anything. Yeah. It was just like, wow, that girl's really attractive. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, so the type of hair I had when Jory first saw me were I uh, had on micro braids. Uh -huh. um, I believe I did it myself and nothing fancy, just, <laughs> you know, how micros looked. And yeah, that's how I went to, <laughs> to classes. And that's when he noticed me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I sat in the back of the class. I had yes. a good view of your hair, I guess, but yeah. I didn't really... And something else? Focus no. <laughs> <laughs> you were sitting down. I couldn't see all that. I'm kidding. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think I waited around after class? I believe you did. Like, why? No. <laughs> so, actually, Jory had his first black girl, black woman hair experience. Uh, when we started dating, and I went to my first <laughs> hair appointment. Do you want to tell them oh, what man. happened? Well, first of all, first of all, hold on. I had gone to the hair store to grab the type of hair I needed. Let's start there. Oh, no. <laughs> and this guy that runs this shop is, like, knows my family, knows my mom and my siblings, because we used to come with my mom when we were younger, and so he just recognized us and he remembers us. So he noticed I was there by myself, had my phone, and I paid. But usually when I'm gearing to pay for something, I have a tendency of leaving my cell phone on the counter of wherever I am. So Jordan kept calling. So that's kind of the first instance okay. of the length that he's going to go into next. So... After that, I got my hair, and again, I left my phone on the counter. Apparently, Jory kept calling and calling and calling, so finally, he answers the phone. Yes. And Jory's like, who is this? Why do you have her number? Da -da -da. And <laughs> the guy calls my mom and goes, who is that? He is crazy. <laughs> So yes. it was already taking long, too long for what he's used to, but yeah. go ahead. So she says she's going to get her hair done, uh -huh. right? So I'm thinking 30 minutes, 45 minutes, and we're good. <laughs> I didn't realize you got to go pick out the hair. <laughs> that can take at least that long. And then you got to go get it done. So, yeah. I mean, and then I'm calling her phone and a dude's answering. <laughs> and I'm like, who are you? Why are you answering her phone? Yeah, right, you're getting your hair done. Uh, yeah, her hair. <laughs> oh, so, yes. so after hours of this so-called haircut appointment, uh -huh. I was jealous or or suspicious or both? He was probably both. <laughs> because then he called me. Um, when I realized I had left my phone, I went back and grabbed it. But... Um, what was I going to say? Hold on a second. So I'm sitting there and I get a phone call from him. And he's like, why did this guy answer your phone? I was like, oh, babe, that's the, uh, where we go pick out the hair. I just happened to leave my, my phone on the counter. So he drops the issue. But then he was like, so how long is it going to be? I'm like, well, I'm not exactly next yet. Because comment down below if you know you make an appointment and you walk in. There's like five people. 
point yeah, headed. That you appointment like, means all of nothing. I'm like, why did I make? Comment down below. We got issues. We got issues. So anyway, I had to explain to him, honey, there is a bunch of people ahead of me. Well, you had an appointment. I was like, I was like ooh, we must. Read the structured work. right mindset. You <laughs> like you really show up, to you learn. get it done, and you move on. <laughs> I didn't think to prep him. So, like, in his mind, yeah, he this thought this did maybe not make sense. Something didn't all. add up. He thought, I was like, I, I've only known you a little while. Already, you think you can play games? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, how long was it approximately? Two? Hours. Yeah. Like, four to six hours? Yeah, it, I don't know. And, oh, I, I was, was like, only, haircut appointment? That took the whole day. <laughs> <laughs> I was only getting a quick weave, too, but I, which I, and that, I'm quick about that. That lady does a phenomenal <laughs> job with hair. Yeah, yeah. But she just had, it was a Saturday, so she had a bunch of, a bunch of clients. <laughs> and if you're a hairstylist, please help a sister out. <laughs> Do not ask me to make an appointment. And then you have like five people ahead of me. That's not right. Like, my time is money. <laughs> so anyway, Jory was really upset. So yeah. I had to... I had to talk to him yeah. like this is the So that was my experience. first introduction to the process of black girl hair. And I had a lot to learn. <laughs> oh, okay, next time. Crash <laughs> course. Literally, I crashed. <laughs> he did. He failed miserably. Oh, like he didn't yell at me or anything like that. He just did not understand. <laughs> Like, it's, I'm sure after looking at me, you're like, all oh, that took, like, that long? Because he didn't realize what was going well, on went into underneath all of later, it. later, yeah. <laughs> I learned over the years. <laughs> so, actually, the first time Jory saw my natural hair, when I would go to get my hair done, I might have, like, a leave-out sew-in where, like, they just add uh, extensions or weave to the back and then my hair would be out. Uh, or I would have the whole thing done. Uh, was never into wigs or anything like that. And so, uh, after we had gotten married, the hair I had was that my real hair was up top. And she had did like, a, I don't know how to explain it. Like she, she pulled up my hair and then like tucked it back. Comment down below if you know the name for it. I can't remember. <laughs> I wish I had a picture. And then she added some extensions. So after like three weeks after we got married, I we went to South Carolina. We moved to South Carolina. I didn't know a lot of salons or who did a good job yet. Mm -hmm. So I just simply asked him, I said, hey, can you please help me take down my, <laughs> my hair? <laughs> <laughs> so what was your first reaction, first of all, when I asked that? Were you like, what? Take that in your no, head. I don't think I don't think I was shocked or anything. I uh -huh. was just like, yeah, if that's what you need, I'll help you take your hair down. Yeah, yeah. that's just the type of dude Jory is. So he's like, okay, what do I do? I was like, well, just don't cut my hair, but cut this thread off. I'm like, where does it end? Where does it end? <laughs> <laughs> where, where do I cut? Where? where? <laughs> so he did a good job, and then after that is actually where when we learned that the lady that did my hair actually damaged it. Yeah, you said she, she pulled it really hard. She, guys, I looked really like. My hair was pulled, like my eyes were so slanted, and I had yeah, um, pulled on your face. It did. She had permed my hair and then put bobby <laughs> pins to like keep it in place, and one of the bobby pins actually went onto my skin, and because my skin was already or my scalp was already tender due to the um, chemicals, it like pressed onto my scalp, and I actually still have like a. What would you call it? A cut? To oh my like, goodness, like a scar there? A scar there. Wow. Um, George was really mad because then when he was pulling, when we were pulling the pins out, like my hair was just coming out and coming out. He's like, I wanted to call you, wanted to call her and like, yeah. what did you do? I'm like, don't worry about it. It's just hair. So that was his first time seeing my natural hair. <laughs> How did you feel? Or like, were you shocked? Were you angry? No, not at you? all. I feel like... We got to know each other, and I was, I fell in love with you, not Aww. with your hair. Aww. You don't know, seriously. I know. <laughs> like, yeah, when I first saw you, I just found you extremely attractive. But as we got to know each other, by the time we got married, uh -huh. I really loved you. And so, we all have things about us that are different from other people mm -hmm. or whatever, you know? Yeah. And so, 
I had gotten to know you, mm -hmm. the fact that you did your hair differently didn't affect me that much. Yeah, and I can vouch for that. Like, he didn't ask... He didn't ask questions unless I was, <laughs> like, I wanted to talk about my hair for some reason, which I didn't. He just kind of, he was a dude. He did his thing and I did mine. Like, he, <laughs> I wasn't you know, all that concerned no, about he wasn't how like, she does her hair. <laughs> yeah, like, teach me how to do, yeah. like, show me. No, he was just a guy. He's like, yeah. my wife looks good. That's all I care about. Like, <laughs> I grew up with no sisters, too. So, yeah. like, hair was never really a thing. Yeah. My mom kind of did it over on her own. And yeah. just us boys. So, I was like... Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't really something I was concerned about. <laughs> right. And so, and I was actually telling him before I got married, this is for my sisters who are interested in white men or vice versa. I didn't really think about my hair as being like a stumbling block. The only thing I thought about was my cooking, just because huh. I'm like, yeah. I cook so differently. He might not <laughs> eat my food and men love to eat like... What am I going to... I really stressed about my food, like, yeah. what was going to happen. But you knew that before we ever got married, that right. I liked the food. But that calmed me down. Yeah. So, like, hair was just not one of those topics that I was like, <laughs> oh, what am I going to... I didn't even see it as a big deal because I did it so often. Like, you know, today is braids, tomorrow is a quick weave, mm -hmm. you know, the next day is a ponytail, a bob cut. Like, <laughs> and he never asked, like, how does your hair grow from short? To long <laughs> overnight. <laughs> never really asked. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Do you wish you would have? No. no <laughs> like, I, okay. I'm not concerned about it. Yeah, he really does not care. And yeah. so, if you're concerned about your hair, he's not. If it makes you feel uncomfortable, sure, have a conversation. Yeah. But I really did not focus on that because yeah. I'm just like, this is who I yeah, am. Some I guys don't... might be different, but right. I mean, honestly, like. That's your girl's hair. Support her in whatever she wants to do with her hair. Right. And, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, next topic. Um, probably when I saw how much it affected Bename mm -hmm. was when she asked me to shave her hair. Mm -hmm. uh, after our son was born, mm -hmm. um, after the second pregnancy, for some reason, uh, like a hormone change or stress, I think it was mostly stress, um, you said your hair started to fall out. Yeah, like, <clears throat> I had gone to try and, I was like, oh my goodness, I've been taking my, care of myself. Mm -hmm. I need to go get my, um, I want to go get my hair braided. I want to do it myself. So I went to the store, chose the hair, went to wash my hair, like deep condition it, um, before I can, you know, move forward. And like, y'all, I'm not even over-exaggerating. Like, I touched my hair, and certain parts were about... Can you hold my phone? Sorry. About that length. Other parts were that length. Another part was, like, to my scalp. Mm -hmm. Like, and this was throughout my head. And I'm like, what in the world happened? Because <laughs> after Bella, my hair thrived. I mean, like, I had the biggest fro. If I find a picture, I'm going to insert it, but... I loved my hair after yeah. I had Bella, but yeah. it was like something happened. You, after... you were dealing with a lot of stress then too. Yes, that's true. With issues, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. That, that was very true. Yeah. So I remember just for the first time in my life, I cried about my hair. Like, yeah. and I was 24, mm -hmm. 24, 25. I just bawled. I sat in the bathroom and cried. And then he came in, he's like, what's wrong? And I, I said, I can't braid my hair. And I mm -hmm. explained to him. He's like, honey, you know, I still love you. You're beautiful. Like, what do we need to do? I said, I don't know what to do because I was really embarrassed. And <clears throat> so I just sat in the bathroom for a while and then he left because I needed some space. And then afterward, I went back out and I said, can you just shave my hair? He's like, are you sure? I'm like, I'm just going to start over because I didn't know what to do. I didn't know where to go to get the help I needed. Mm -hmm. Um... So as he was shaving it, like that's like I cried mm -hmm. after that because it was yeah, just like to see it all gone. Yeah. What happened? Yeah. Um, so since then, I have shaved my uh, hair. I would say like between five and ten times. Is it that many? Oh yeah. wow, I didn't realize. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and I think one time I shaved it, and you were like, "Oh, you shaved your head." <laughs> <laughs> you always then, expected me to like freak out about something to do with hair right i did after that deal. but to him it was just like okay that's fine um 
And then, then there was another time I shaved it where the kids bawled. Did like they cried. They oh, did okay. not because they didn't recognize they, you. They were like, no, <laughs> why would you do that? But you look really good, even with a shaved head. Some right, people sure. can't pull it off. Yeah. Yeah. But um, so yeah, that was his experience with how I reacted <laughs> to my hair. Ah, comment down below if you have any experiences like that. Let us know. <laughs> so as time went on, I learned that hair is a big deal. For a black girl. Yes, it is. <laughs> I mean, from the gigantic stores, just for the products <laughs> and the hair that you can buy, uh -huh. to the cost yeah. of buying those products mm -hmm. or getting the hair put in mm -hmm. or having the hair worked with. Um, yeah, just, you know, braiding salons mm -hmm. or regular hair salons mm -hmm. or you go and get press and curl or whatever, whatever you call it. <laughs> What do you call it? Straight iron? Not <laughs> pressing. That, 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 that was good. That was good. I mean, <laughs> the like the myriad types of getting your hair done in different ways and and how to braid and uh -huh. how to put in sew ins and yeah. just and the, like honestly step into one of these stores as a white person that has no experience because I grew up <laughs> homeschooled. You know, my my community I grew up in was predominantly white. Very rare to see a black person. And uh, so, like, seeing this stuff and being like, those stores, like, I want to get some shampoo. Okay, here's a whole 50-foot <laughs> aisle, both sides, different types of shampoo, each one boasting to be the best. You yeah. know, and it's like, wow, where do you start? <laughs> For every type of hair, from very coarse to very fine, from very, you know, whatever. Look at you! Right? And, okay! And, but but I'm saying just like learning all this stuff over the years, yes. and sometimes when like when I see like the ignorance of a of a white person that I know about the hair, like, and I just think about all that there is to learn, I just kind of laugh because I'm like, yeah, it's not even worth it's not even worth trying to explain it. Just leave you know it alone. I mean? Yeah, I'm <laughs> just like I don't worry about it. <laughs> I remember the first time I sent you to go get hair for me. Uh huh. <laughs> Which one? Yeah. <laughs> you can't just say, go get me some hair. 4C, dark, 9, Go get um, braiding hair for me. He's like, honey, honey which... this is synthetic. I, you said the color. You didn't say yaki pony and blah, blah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but afterwards, you got it. You were able to go. Yeah, and I say, got better. She, I yeah, got she needs this, this, and that. And there was a black girl there who was like, oh, you know now. <laughs> I used to be, I'd step in and be like, uh, and they'd be like, can we help you? <laughs> oh, honey. You know. So, yeah, he's, he's, you've come a long way with knowing, okay, that's braiding hair, yes. that's sweet, but yeah. yeah. That's, it's another world. It's it another is. world. It really is. Yeah. We're actually considering doing a follow-up video to this. Yeah. On what not to do. And so, I think... <laughs> I think this topic is one that can touch a lot of people, yeah. especially in our mixed race, you know, where we're, Community, we're different, yeah, yeah different mm -hmm. types of people yeah. learning about this. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> yeah, and you were shocked too, because you were like, um, when I would try and do my own hair, you would say, no, just go get it done. I'm like, honey, do you know how much <laughs> money a hair style costs for me? Time and money. And I had to explain it to him. He's like, wait, 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 what? You mean this <laughs> You mean a shampoo and just to get it straightened is $60, $65? Like where like white girls can get it for $20 or their extensions um, won't be as much as right. ours. Like right. he was shocked and I'm like, so no, I can't just go out and do my hair. Right. I have to cut corners and uh, do what I can. But <laughs> if you have any question, feel free to follow us on IG and DM us at... Majestic underscore family eight. eight. And with that, dear friends, keep, keep looking, looking up. up.